Hey everyone, we're here at Templin Family Brewing Company, or TF Brewing, here in Salt Lake City. Uh, heard some pretty good stuff about this place, so let's go inside and check it out. All right guys, so we're here at Templin Family, or TF Brewing Company. Uh, initial thoughts right off the bat, this is a pretty solid place. Fortunately, while we're here, there's some construction out front. There's very little parking, so um, if you have the ability to park down the street and walk over, that's probably perfect, but um, this is a pretty nice place so far. Uh, they do have food truck out front, just like um, most breweries around here will have food trucks out front. What's really nice about this place, and we'll show you in a little bit, if you haven't seen it already, is that there are communal tables across this entire place. So if you're not sure what a communal table is, basically it's just huge tables where people can get together, um, talk, have fun. You'll end up sitting next to a stranger if it's a really busy place, but it's really cool. So now here they don't do flights, and so I order two beers right away. Uh, they actually just released a rock beer, a barrel-aged, smoked beer. Now, a lot of people are can kind of take these a little bit differently. I like rock beers. Um, I like the smokiness of it. Uh, there's some that I've had where it tasted just like smoked bacon. Um, I know that sounds weird, but it was really, really good. This one, I was talking to the bartender, said it's gonna be more like uh, Texas barbecue. So, now this is a little bit higher ABV. Uh, this particular one is, this one's clocking in at 7.7%. Now, again, remember, state law here says that you can't get anything on tap greater than 5%, but you can get packaged goods that are, and this is a case where in this particular brewery, you can buy one of their beers and they'll pour it for you, so really awesome. We're gonna go ahead and check this out. Yeah, it smells like a campfire. It smells like Pitmaster, maybe. it's. I mean, if you've ever been to a barbecue joint or a smokehouse, it smells exactly like that. Again, that's gonna turn a lot of people off, but for me, it's it's a lot of fun. I love smoked meats, and so why not a smoked beer? So right off the bat, it actually doesn't taste anything like it smells, which may be great for some. So uh, what I get right off the bat is sweetness. Um, there's a little bit of smoky note to it, and I think the smell is kind of impacting the flavor profiles a little bit. Now this is barrel aged, so I get a little bit of a barrel note or presence to it. It's not aggressive at all. This couldn't have been aged very long. Uh, and if it was aged longer than maybe a couple of weeks or a couple months, it's probably in a used uh, bourbon barrel. Yeah, it's really sweet. It's actually pretty easy to drink. I don't think anyone would be offended by this whatsoever, so it's a good one to go after. So the second beer I got was this Northeast style IPA called uh, Wicked Sea Party. Um, it says right on the menu that it's inspired by the trips out to Boston. If you guys are familiar with Northeast style IPAs, you know that it really started in the Northeast because that's, you know, the name of the beer style. Anyway, so, um, so it does say it's inspired by the trips out there. You know, just like any other kind of hazy or Northeast style IPA, this is gonna be um, a little bitter. It's gonna have a higher um, fruit content or fruit flavor profile, I should say, uh, depending on what that looks like, depends on the hops that they use. Okay, so this one, um, right off the bat, like no bitterness whatsoever. So very, very approachable. It definitely has some citrus notes, but it's more like orange or orange juice almost um, in, its, in its flavor profiles. It's got a great mouthfeel. It's not too thick, not too thin. Uh, you know, again, being 
5% uh, or lower, it's going to be a little bit lighter on that mouthfeel, but I think this does a really good job of kind of really bringing it in. I wouldn't have known this was a 5% beer, or sub 5% beer, I should say. Um, it drinks really, really well. I think I probably take a lot of this down, so yeah, this is pretty good. You know, so far we are definitely uh, loving our experience here at Templin. They do have uh, an outdoor area that looks pretty awesome. Hopefully we get a chance to take a look at that. Um, they have their brewing equipment. They have a couple of fooders where um, it sounds like they have a natural lager aging in one of their fooders, which is really super cool. And they obviously have some barrels uh, kind of hanging out. So if you remember our last trip, we were, um, over at Fisher Brewing Company. This is a quick five minute walk from there, uh, right, down, right down the street. Um, so it's not a, a bad way to kind of come check out a couple different breweries around here. So, you know, again, absolutely loving what's going on here. Um, only had a chance to try two of their beers, so I can't really speak to anything else. But if you guys really uh, like to check out more of what's going on here, I highly suggest you come check it out. All right, well, hey, on to the next location. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Check it out.